Progressive presents an interview with your upstairs neighbor. My name's Barry. I live right above you. I don't host parties. I host after parties. They're like parties, only louder and nobody goes home. You can see right here I ripped out all the carpeting because it was holding me back with my pogo stick. Man's got a pogo. Oh, I'm a prankster. I'll grease up a soda can and then when somebody grabs it, boom! <laughs> Progressive can't save you from your upstairs neighbor, but we can save you money when you bundle renters and auto insurance with us. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Bundle discount not available in all states or situations. Staying on top of your family's health is more important than ever this year, and getting an annual eye exam is an essential part of it. So use your renewed vision benefits at Pearl Vision. Right now, they'll cover your out-of-pocket cost or insurance copay for your eye exam. Prioritize your family's health and schedule their eye exams at pearlvision.com today. Valid prescription required. Valid at participating locations. Restrictions apply. Taxes extra. See store for details. Ends 331-2021. Exams available at the Independent Doctors of Optometry at or next to Pearl Vision. Some doctors are employed by Pearl Vision. The latest word that the so-called governor of New York withheld information with regard to tens of thousands of deaths in nursing homes in New York State, covering it up, is just the latest example of how it doesn't matter whether you're conservative or liberal, or shall we say leftist, it's more appropriate, you can't believe a word the government tells you. The same is true of the vaccines. We don't know whether they're safe. We don't know whether it's been reported, all the side effects that are occurring. We don't know whether the vaccines now will cover the various mutant strains. And now they tell us they're not sure that it's going to last that long. Maybe the vaccination will only last three months. Thus, the American people, again, can't believe anything that comes out of the government's mouth. The politicians obviously want to make it look like they've gotten beyond COVID-19 or CHICOM-19 because they want to be reelected. And you can see that both the governors of California and New York are living on borrowed time. They'll be gone in short order. COVID-19 did in President Trump, in effect, notwithstanding a few other factors. But yet, no one takes action against the communist Chinese That's because our representatives have been bought and paid for, particularly the president of the United States, so-called president, the fraudulent president, Biden, Joseph Biden. Massive bribery coming through Hunter Biden, coming from other sources, not just China, but Ukraine and Russia. And now we learn that the Russians are conducting a joint naval exercise with the Iranians. So isn't that dandy? The president of the United States so-called president, fraudulent president Joe Biden, got tons of money from Russia too, laundered through, you guessed it, Hunter Biden. We'll be conducting a citizen's grand jury on March 17th of this year, and we'll be seeking the indictment of Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and his brother, Frank, all part of these bribery schemes. That's something the American people must do. We must rise up and do it for ourselves. And that's what I discuss in my book, It Takes a Revolution, Forget the Scandal Industry. We need to wage a peaceful and legal revolution. But layered on top of everything else is the line with regard to what happened on January 6th. The political establishment, the political correctness, Fox News, everything, everybody says that this was the result of radicals. Most of the people that went into the Capitol were not radicals. Most of the people, and I might add the Capitol belongs to the people, we the people, were ordinary people, they just had it. They couldn't believe a word the government was saying. They saw how corrupt it was. They saw there was a fraudulent election putting this brain-dead Manchurian candidate, Joe Biden, and his evil witch of a vice president, Kamala Harris, in office. And they said, this is the final straw. We're going in there. So what's happening now is that the Biden-Harris administration is using the FBI as its own Gestapo. Anybody who was there protesting or went into the Capitol now is being hunted down by the FBI. They're demanding their cell phones. If they don't turn it over, warrants are slapped on them. If that doesn't work, people can even be indicted. In fact, an Olympic athlete, a swimmer, Cleet Keller, was indicted on seven felony counts. He could do 30 years in prison. He just simply walked into the Capitol. This is what's happening. Layer that on top of the fact that you now have over 15,000 National Guardsmen troops in Washington, D.C., and the so-called government says they're going to remain until the fall. 
the United States, the capital under occupation more than the West Bank, because the West Bank was never under occupation in Israel. That belongs to the Jewish people and to Christians. And so does the capital of the United States. And now these intimidation factors are there because they don't want the people to rise up. As Jefferson said, when the people fear the government, there's tyranny. But when the government fears the people, there's liberty. Clearly, the government fears the people today because they know that we know that they're corrupt to the core, whether it's the executive branch of government, whether it's the legislative branch of government, or whether it's the federal judicial branch, the most corrupt of all, as Jefferson predicted. They would turn into despots and tyrants because they're unelected and unaccountable to the people. And just look back a few weeks, President Trump's own judges, political hacks of the highest magnitude put in place by Republican establishment people who recommended them to the president. The president didn't know who he was appointing. And he got these court jesters rather than judges. Even the Supreme Court justices that he bragged about stabbed him in the back notwithstanding Vice President Pence, who simply could have sent the matter back to the states to do a real investigation of the fraud. Nobody was asking him to overturn an election. So this is where we are. And it's why I wrote the book, It Takes a Revolution, Forget the Scandal Industry. Lie upon lie upon lie upon lie. It never ends. The government lies to us many times daily. You can't believe anything it says. Ronald Reagan used to say the scariest words in the English language were, hi, I'm here from the government and I'm here to help you. Well, it's much worse today than it was even during Ronald Reagan. And that is why I wrote the book. It takes a revolution. Forget the scandal industry. Forget Sean Hannity. Forget Fox News. They're just profiteers. They tell you what brings you back to watch them. So they get more advertising dollars. They just renewed the the contract of Suzanne Scott, a woman who hid all the sexual harassment, who was an enabler of my client, Laurie Loon, who was the most harassed, who's tried to commit suicide four times because of what was done by Roger Ailes to her. And this is the network that claims to be conservative. And then there's Newsmax run by a complete hack, Christopher Ruddy, who gave a million dollars to the Clinton Foundation. His host walked off the set when Mike Lindell was on there, just wanted to talk about the minion voting systems a few weeks ago. Forget about it. Forget about the scandal industry. We must rise up. We must do it for ourselves. So get the book. I tell you how to do it peacefully and legally. It takes a revolution. Forget the scandal industry at Amazon.com, at BarnesandNoble.com, at all major booksellers. And for a contribution of $50 or more to Freedom Watch to help us undertake our peaceful and legal revolution, which includes citizens' grand juries and a third continental Congress, in May of this year, May 31st, Memorial Day, to reenact our Constitution, to make it clear that there's no immunity for federal officials or federal judges, and to make sure that we can base discrimination claims on political ideology as well as belief. That needs to be in the Constitution. We're going to reenact that. We're going to reform form a new government, as we're allowed to do in the Declaration of Independence, and then move forward. And I'll be starting a separate group, starting a new political party. The Republican Party is dead. It does not represent conservatives, libertarians, or peoples of faith. We need to represent ourselves. Along with the Father and the Son, we need to rise up. Our country is already lost. We need to bring it back to life. It's lost. Just today, Biden says he's going to take the first steps to get rid of our guns. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. Whatever he says is an interim measure. That's the goal the clear goal. So we need to be able to defend ourselves through all fronts, and we need to rise up peacefully and legally and wage a revolution. Get It takes a revolution. Thank you for listening to me. God helps those that help themselves. It's time for the American people to rise up just as we did on July 4th, 1776. And today is much worse than then. King George III was not a socialist. King George III was not a communist. King George III was not an atheist. He wasn't a radical Muslim. He wasn't a member of the Marxian Jewish left. He wasn't a radical gay, lesbian, and transgender. He wasn't a radical feminist, and he wasn't a radical black. Most of the people in these groups are good people, but the radicals want to destroy this country, divide it up, and there'll be nothing left for you and your kids. In fact, all there'll be left is tyranny. That's my word for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another special podcast. Until then, thank you for listening to me. 
Hey, we get it. You don't want to be hearing a progressive commercial right now. So let us tell you something you do want to hear. You are intelligent. You make all the right decisions. You were smart before smart was cool, and you made it cool again. You have a wealth of knowledge, and you are so very clever. <laughs> I bet you already knew I was going to say that, you genius. There. Don't you feel better? You'll also feel better when you hear you could save big when you switch to progressive. But I'm pretty sure you already knew that, too. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Progressive presents The Sounds of the Old World. The year is 2019, and someone is waiting for the previews to start in a movie theater. Hey, you want anything? Popcorn? Soda? No, nothing. This has been The Sounds of the Old World. Brought to you by Progressive, where drivers can still switch and save like it's 2019. Quote today at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Staying on top of your family's health is more important than ever this year, and getting an annual eye exam is an essential part of it. So use your renewed vision benefits at Pearl Vision. Right now, they'll cover your out-of-pocket cost or insurance copay for your eye exam. Prioritize your family's health and schedule their eye exams at pearlvision.com today. Valid prescription required. Valid at participating locations. Restriction supply. Taxes extra. See store for details. Ends 331-2021. Exams available at the Independent Doctors of Optometry at or next to Pearl Vision. Some doctors are employed by Pearl Vision.